I'm Bethany McLean here at SALT 2019 with Nicholas Vita, the CEO of Columbia Care. So what is the major issue facing the medical marijuana industry today? I think it comes down to three things. Validation and the ability to sort of prove efficacy and reliability. Two, the consistency of manufacturing. And three, sort of regulatory uncertainty. All those things I think can be solved in time and those are the things that we're actually focused on uh, at Columbia Care. Uh, but we think that the opportunity uh, that follows the sort of conclusion of those issues is significant. Where are we on efficacy? What do we understand about how about the uses of marijuana, medically speaking? So I think the first sort of shooter drop was the release by the National Academy of Science several years ago, which conducted a meta study. Uh, but what that failed to acknowledge is the importance of consistency of the products themselves. Uh, at Columbia Care, we're engaged in over 14 IRB-approved studies uh, in various therapeutic categories to really demonstrate that efficacy in the hopes of providing uh, data-driven solutions to the provider community, patients, and regulators. Given the state-by-state -state regulation of this, how do we move toward consistency? What are the challenges in doing that? I think you need the states to really focus on this issue. Um, I think it requires infrastructure, but more importantly, I think you need to have uh, leadership among the operators who really understand the importance of not only having consumer products and medical products with a consistent format and formulation, but really understanding what those mean in terms of the way the body actually absorbs these products and internalizes them. There's some growing criticism of pot, both in a New Yorker piece and in Alex Berenson's new book, Tell Your Children. What do you make of the skepticism surrounding this industry? I think we have to remember that you know, even if in some states where you have north of 20% of the adult population enrolled in these programs, that still leaves somewhere in excess of 70% of the adult population that's not participating in these programs. So a healthy debate is really going to be the cornerstone for good, sound policy uh, and, frankly, a healthy growth of the industry. So we think that in the absence of data, um, it'll be opinion versus opinion, and that's exactly where we hope to sort of solve the gap. And for you, what's the biggest difference between your previous career as a banker at Goldman Sachs and your current career as the CEO of a medical marijuana company? I think the structure. Um, we're involved in building a global business now that uh, there is no precedent for. Um, when you work at a large organization, particularly in financial services, it's regulated, uh, but it's also based on precedent. Everybody always knew what they were doing. Uh, every day I wake up uh, as the CEO of Columbia Care, could be something completely different than I did the day before. And I would say that's the same for many of the leadership and, and sort of uh, members of the organization nationally, which is a great feeling because it keeps you on your toes but allows you to really sort of use both sides of your brain effectively. Thanks so much for being here with us.